Hey everyone, Kim Tana here, and this is another upcycle video. Today I'm working with one of my favorite materials, pop tabs. I love working with this material because they're super lightweight and they just look so cool with whatever I am working with. So today we are going to make a chainmail pop tab uh, keychain. And so I have 20, 20 cleaned and sanitized pop tabs. Now these pop tabs, as you see, they have that little circle that, you know, actually connects it to the can. That's gone. Um, I didn't have to trim it. I didn't have to do anything. All I did was ee, 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 boop, right off it. I just popped it right off. Um, so you don't need to file. You don't need to, um, to trim. Uh, not with this particular project at least. Uh, but that being said, please be careful when it comes to handling uh, pop tabs. These are metal. Metal is sharp. It's always sharp. So be careful. Be careful. Um, I also have um, a set of wire cutters um, and two, I'm not crazy, this is on purpose, two uh, needle nose pliers and I have five um, eight millimeter uh, jump rings. Again, like I said, jump rings are the best. You can do so much with them. Um, and a, uh, a keychain. This is a joint link. Um, so it's, it's one of those where you, you pull it with your fingernail and you stick your keys in there. Um, this I got uh, as a, I have it as a finding. I got a free keychain one time. The keychain is, you know, it's an advertisement. So I get the keychain and I love findings. It's so much fun to find findings. So uh, that's what I have to deal with and uh, that's what I've got to work with and we're going to get going. This is going to be so cool. I'm so excited for you guys. Okay. The first thing we have to do is we have to, um, we have to cut the tops of almost all of our pop tabs so that we can create uh, the chain links. And so we are not going to cut the bottom part there's no need to cut the bottom part, and you'll see that as we go. We're only going to cut up here, up in this really small fin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wire. It doesn't have to be precise, but you're going to try to trim it right in the center. And if you're off by like a hair, that's fine. It's okay. But it's really easy and doink, that's it. So you create this, uh, this ridge right here so now you will be able to build off of it you're going to do that with all but four of them so these four I'm going to leave aside and the rest of these I'm going to trim the same way again you're going to take the top and the wire cutter in as close to the center as possible but don't worry about not being perfect just do a little cut you know, making sure you get through, you will. Um, so I'm going to work on those and uh, be with you shortly. Okay, so once you have cut um, the tops along all but four, you're going to take one from the set. Again, these are our four that don't have it. These are going to be the last ones we work with. Um, take one and take another. You're going to take two. And using that uh, cut, you're going to push the, sm the uh, larger edge, the bottom edge, through. Just, it, that, it's that easy. It's so easy. It just pops in place. Uh, and you're going to take another one. And you're going to do it in the opposite direction. And so this one is nice and, and uh, not sharp. It's not the opposing side. So you have that. And that's going to be this edge and I'm going to do the rest where the uh, the good edge is going towards the left so on this one just to clarify the one that is the uh, the good edge is over on the right facing the right and the other four that I'm going to the other three I'm going to add to this will be facing it'll make sense as I go so this is the good side, and I'm going to push this through. And so the reason that you do that 
is that now there are no sharp edges. This is smooth, this is smooth, right? So you're protecting yourself from the sharp metal by alternating it, but you only really need to alternate two, have two back-to-back -back, um, sides. So uh, the rest can all go in the right in the direction. So we're gonna do four on this layer. So we have two already, I'm gonna do one, two. And this is our bottom layer now. And so that is going to be the bottom of the keychain. Okay, so it's connected to four. So that's four. Okay, so now we take the next layer and it's gonna be a little bit more difficult because the top one's always the easiest, but we're going to alternate it. So here's the smooth side. So I want the bad side to go against this bad side, like this. And so I'm going to go take the first one from the bottom layer and pop it through. And then push it to the side. And then take the next one and push it through and push it to the side so that the, uh, the new the new link is going through all of the bottom layers. And like that. So that's the bottom. This is the bottom four. And there's now two on here. So it's creating a crisscrossing pattern already. As you can see, the chain mail is starting to take form. Ooh, it's so beautiful. Chain mail is so much fun. And so again, you're going to do uh, a layer of four. Okay, so I just want to show you guys what it looks like. So this is our, this is the bottom layer. Here's the four. That's the first link. This is the second link. It's got two. And again, smooth side, smooth side. Uh, the bad edges are hidden. Don't worry. Um, this will be uh, this will be closer together, so it's not going to be flopping around in your pocket, tearing up your clothes. Um, and smooth side for the second link, and smooth side. And now we're going to add another. You want to be careful not to mix it up. So, you're going to move the links down, and then you're going to take this, and this is it's going to go through all four of those and so you hold it and push through one and two and three and four all right that's the third one for the second link all right take the fourth one move down the three and we're gonna push this through these cuts so one two three four and that is the second link the second link is now complete so there's four and four so then you take another one and this will be the next link. So you're going to put this through these. And soon you'll be doing this so fast that you'll be like, bam, 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 bam. So three and four. Okay. So that is the fourth for the third link. So just to regroup you here, this now has three links. One, two, three. And each of them has four four tabs on each link. We're going to do a total of five, so we have our last set of cut links. And again, I'm going to go smooth side and go through here. Right, so this is the last one. Smooth, smooth side, because smooth side's going to go down. This is the layer we're looking, working on. That goes down and 
this goes through all of those cuts along the top. So, you push it through. One. This is the second one. Two. That's the third one. Three. That's the last one on that link. Four. And that's the four. So these are all of the four, uh, these are the four cut links. And so now we have the not cut links, but they're still going to go on the same way. The only difference is it doesn't have the cut at the top because it's the end of the keychain. So putting on the first one, just like you did with the others. So along the top, one, two, three, four, okay, three, and, and, eh, four. That's it. That is, that's the chain mail. So there's five rows, one, two, three, four, five, five links. Okay, so you can see that they are connected. The top has no cuts. The bottom, of course, has no cuts. So this is this is chainmail. If you've gotten this far, guys, congratulations! You've done your first chainmail. So proud of you. Oh, so great. Okay, now the fun part. Okay, so now we are going to take one of the rings and we're going to hold it with at the very edge of the um, of the end of it, there is no way you can see this. But trust me, when you look at a jump ring, it's got a uh, a dividing hole, um, so that when you pull it apart, um, well, it comes apart. So you hold it at one end on here with the one and uh, one plier, and then you take the other side, the other end of the jump ring. All right, now, this is the important part. You, you, your instinct is to pull it away from you, to pull it away from you. Don't do that, because what that'll do is that'll stretch out, uh, it'll stretch it out and it'll be useless to you because you'll have to bend it back and it, it, it's not worth it. So the best way to do this the best way to separate jump rings is to hold it like this and to watch my hands turn it so that it becomes a spiral just like that it's a spiral and it's just it's pulled like this not like this and so you just move it like that and so one end is up here, the other end is down here, but they're still in line. And so you're going to take one of these and you're going to take your bottom. Your bottom is going to be the one that, well, has the bottom. So taking the jump ring, thread it through the very bottom of one. So yeah, that's one. And then latch on to the entire link, all four of them, so that the jump ring goes all the way through. Now, it's going to be too short for the very bottom, so you're going to go along one of these two sides, which are thinner. And so we're going to go this side first, all right, so that you guys can see. That's the jump ring. It's right on the end. So what you're going to do is take the two pliers and you're going to hold either side of the jump ring again. Okay, so that's metal is shiny. Okay, that's one end and this is the other. 
And you're going to do the same motion, just backwards, bringing the jump ring back to the way that it was. And so all you do is turn it together. So you don't even have to press it together as long as you pulled it apart the right way. So that is connected with the jump ring now. Okay, so the jump ring is on there. Once it's on there, you're going to push it down tightly. Okay, you're gonna push it tightly towards the bottom. Really doesn't want to go because it knows it's too thick. But you're gonna push it as best you can. Then you're gonna grab another jump ring and just do the same thing. And I'm going to do it close this time. So, here is, if you can see it, there is, nope, you can't see it, wow. Man, oh man, it's so tiny, chump rings are so tiny. But trust me, right at the very top, there's a incision. And so, you will take the chump ring, you'll take the jump ring, and to do the same thing, at least you'll be able to see the motion. All right, so I have it on either side, and the jump ring is right there, and I'm just gonna pull it apart so that it is in line, but just twisted apart. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. way through each one until I get the jump ring to cooperate and get in there. Okay. And it's tight. It's supposed to be tight. Alright. So. And see the jump ring? That's there's one end and that's the other. So it's threaded through. Take either side of it again and bring it back by same motion. So that both jump rings are on there. And again, you're going to push it down as tight as you can. If it doesn't stay it doesn't it's it's okay but this is to help keep it in place so that it's not too loose and so once it stays there it's stuck and it makes that this link stay a lot uh, a lot more closer together so it's not flopping around or whatever Okay, so now we take the very top of our keychain. We have our bottom, and now we're going to take the top, one that does not have any, does not have any of the uh, cuts. Again, top of the keychain. And you're going to take the jump ring, which I swear has a line that you can't see. Uh, maybe like the eclipse? No? Oh, okay. All right, trust me, trust me, there's a line. Grasp it, and again, open it. You're going to open it wide, and you're going to take the top links and just right along the top, hanging it. So that is your keychain, right there, there's the top, jump ring is right through, and you're going to take the really big keychain ring split ring, grab it, hook it on, and then bring it back, and then it's, you know, it'll do that, that's okay, don't panic, like I just did, it's okay, all right, you bring it together, bring it together, come on, focus, you bring it together, like that, and so it is, it is now attached, 
see? Oh, now you can see the line. Oh, okay. That's the line I've been talking about, guys. What the heck? All right, so that's the line. So this is now attached, but we're going to add a couple more because it will give it stability. So that line that I've been telling you about that you finally just saw, that's what I'm talking about. All the pliers on opposite sides of that. And again, I'm going to add that line that I was telling you about that you only just saw now. I'm going to pull it apart and then hook it around the top. See, around the top. And then the keychain. Split ring. Split ring. This whole thing is a keychain. Sorry. And bring it together again. Like so. So that now there are two. There are two rings on that. that I'm, there they are. There's the two rings. And now one more. One more for good luck. No, it's actually stability. Uh, two is two is better than one, but um, the three uh, give it uh, far more stability. So again, you pull it apart. And again, you take the jump ring and you slide it through. You hook it. See? Oh, you hooked it. There you go. Alright. And then bring that around so it's fully hooked. And link it together again. And that is all three. So you see how that's far more stable looking? Oh, trust me that it's far more stable. Oh, period. And that is it, guys! That's it. That is your keychain. So it's really lightweight and uh, it's really cool. But it's a great keychain. Uh, it's not sharp because, again, we've hidden all of those. Um, so it's safe to go in your pocket and um, it just looks really cool off your bag. Um, it really looks metal. No pun intended. Um, but that's it. So, guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like below. Um, if you uh, if you tried this and uh, made any alterations or uh, tried any um, uh, different colored um, tabs, which do exist, mind you, um, let me know in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe. Um, hit the little dingly bell so you can get notifications of um, the uh, new content that I post. Um, but that is going to do it for me tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you like this. Um, this is one of my favorite projects because it's, as you can see, it looks so cool and it sounds cool too. So thank you guys so much um, and have a great and wonderful night. I will see y'all when I see you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.